In this episode, we are going to find the adjoint of a matrix. The adjoint of a matrix. So, what does it mean? Now, when we say adjoint of a matrix, that's the transposed, the transposed cofactor matrix. Is the adjoint? Are we okay? So anytime we transpose the cofactor matrix, in the previous episode, we saw how to find the cofactor matrix. And whatever you get for your cofactor matrix, you transpose it, and that will be the adjoint of the matrix. So let's say we are given a matrix A as AIJ, then the adjoint of matrix A is going to be written as adjoint of A. That's going to give us a certain matrix A, I, J. Are we okay? So this is how we write the adjoint of a matrix. It is the transposed cofactor matrix. You can check out for the previous episode before this and look at how we find the cofactor of a matrix. By the way, we will also go through in this episode. So let's take an example. Now find the adjoint of matrix A such that our A matrix is giving us now let's write the matrix A as we have three one and we are also going to have two. Let's take this as negative one. And we have five, one, zero, negative two, three, four. This is our matrix A. And we have to find the adjoint. So solution. First, we must find the cofactor matrix the cofactor matrix and we know how to go by it in order to find the cofactor matrix because we want to find the cofactor matrix we are going to have a large bracket for a which is the cofactor matrix so at the first point after we close this what are we going to get so first the first row is gone the first column we are going to get one zero Three, four. Now the second point for the negative one, but here we are going to compare it to this plus negative plus negative plus. So the first one is positive, the second one is negative, and after closing the first row, this we are going to have five, zero, negative two, and four. Now we go to the 2, which is positive. We are going to have 5 and 1, negative 2 and 3. Let's come to the 5. Now when we come to the 5, this row is gone. This first column is gone. We are going to get negative 1 and 2. Here, the sign notation is negative, so we are going to attach the negative to it. Are we okay? So negative one and two, we also have three and four. You must first find the cofactor matrix before you transpose it to get the adjoint. Are we good? So at this point, we are also going to get three and two, negative two and four. This is negative, which is we are going to get three, negative one, negative two and three. The last part, this is going to be positive, which is negative 1, 2, 1, and 0. Negative, and that will be 3, and 2, 5, and 0. And this will be 3, negative 1, 5, and 1. This way. Are we okay? Okay, so now we must find the determinant of this in order to get the cofactor 
matrix. Okay, so now the A is going to be the determinant of this is going to be 4, positive 4. Now the determinant of this is going to negative 20 here. From here, we are going to get 17. This place is giving us 10. And we have 16. We have negative 7, negative 2, and 10. We have 8. So this is the cofactor matrix. From this matrix A, this is the cofactor matrix. So now that we have the cofactor matrix, we have to transpose it to get the adjoint of the matrix. Therefore, the adjoint of matrix A is equal to, and we know how to transpose a 3 by 3 matrix. You replace the rows with a column. So first column to first row, second column to second row, and that to the third one. So this is going to give us 4, 10, negative 2, negative 20, 16, and 10. That will be 17, negative 7, and 8. So this is the adjoint of the matrix A. Are we okay? So we can take a second example and also go through it. The same thing. So, example two, let's find the adjoint of matrix A such that our A matrix is we have one, two, and two, we have one, two, and negative one, negative one, one, and four. Let's find the adjoint of this. But before we get the adjoint, we must transpose the cofactor matrix. And so, first our cofactor matrix. Our cofactor matrix is going to be for matrix A, a very large matrix. So let's see where it ends. So at the first point, after closing this and closing the first column, we are going to get. 2, negative 1, and 1, 4. The second point, we are going to get negative. So now compare, before you start, you compare to the sine notation plus negative. That will help you a lot. So here too, we are going to get as 1, negative 1, and negative 1, 4. The third point, that's 1, 2, negative 1, and 1. At this place, we are going to get a negative here. Because this is positive, this is negative. That is 2 and 2, 1 and 4. This positive is 1, 2, negative 1, and 4. And this place is negative. We are going to have 1 and 2, negative 1 and 1. The last row that is going to be positive here, and this is 2, 2, 2, negative 1. This is negative. We are having 1, 2, 1, negative 1. And the positive last one, that is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2. So now we go ahead to find the determinant for these 2 by 2 matrices. Are we okay? So now this is going to be equal to the determinant, which is, now for the first part, we are going to get the determinant as 8 minus minus 1. The second point is a negative attached, 4 minus 1. This part is going to be 1 minus minus 2. We also have negative attached to this, which is 8 minus 2. And this is going to be 4 minus minus 2. We have this place a negative attached. 1 minus minus 2. Also, the last point is going to be negative 2, negative 4. Negative attached to this. Negative 1, negative 2. We are also going to get here as 2 minus 2 for that. So this is how we get the determinant. So right from here, we are going to get our A as, as a cofactor matrix. When you solve for this, 
this is going to give us 9, negative 3, we are going to get a positive 3, negative 6, positive 6, negative 3, and a negative 6, 3, and 0. So this is the cofactor matrix. So cofactor matrix A. Now to get the adjoint of this cofactor matrix, we must transpose this matrix. So once we transpose this matrix, whatever results we get will be for the adjoint of this matrix. Therefore, can we say the adjoint of matrix A is going to be, now let's try to transpose this. This is going to give us 9, negative 6, and negative 6, negative 3, 6, and that will be a 3. So we are also going to get a 3, negative 3, and 0. So this is the adjoint of matrix A. Are we okay? Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe, like, and comment on the video.